How you doing everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Poolside Cigar Reviews with Kirk. Today I am taking a look at a cigar that I am excited to smoke. It's the Esteban Carreras Covenant. This torpedo is a six and a quarter by 54 stick with a pretty cool closed foot on it. This will only be the second Esteban Carreras I've ever smoked. I had the Diez Anios a while ago. It was awesome. Blew me away. Uh, this was actually given to me in a package from the guys at the... Um, Calypso Cigar Podcast, check them out, they're on uh, iTunes, Podomatic, Spreaker, um, YouTube, so if you're on YouTube, just uh, search for uh, Calypso Cigar Reviews, like they just had their 50th episode, they got a great podcast, check them out, they're awesome, and uh, they're big fans of Esteban Carreras, and like I said, I've only had one, but uh, you know, I'm looking forward to this, because the DA Sanios was awesome, so... If you're curious on that one, I did review the D.A. Sanos, and you can see that on my channel as well. This has got a, a very clean, sweet tobacco humidor smell, so it does have the closed foot. It smells great. It's a Nicaraguan Puro. The wrapper, wrapper is a, a Scuro. Good clean cut on there. And uh, I think, I don't know about the... Uh, I think when I, I did a quick quick search online, and I think the, some of the tobaccos in here are from uh, like Jalapa, Esteli, and um, where else? I don't know. But uh, Condega, I think. So I'm just going to toast this with the, with the closed foot. I won't clip that. Some people like to clip those. I'm not going to do that. I love the draw. Wide open. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, wow, that was, a, that was a big blast of flavor. I think all that wrapper tobacco really smacks you in the mouth. It just very much, uh, I mean, it's big flavor. I'm trying to put my finger on what it is. Now that was definitely toned back, a little more wood. I think it's, I got a lot of like almost charred wood off that first light, almost really almost like campfire, something that you don't really normally get out of a cigar. And probably, if I'm honest about it, not, it was definitely a big blast of flavor. I don't know if it was my favorite flavors, but yeah, like a charred wood. But the finish is nice, and that second draw was great. Let's give this a couple more puffs since uh let you know what I think before I leave you. Mm. That's delicious. Definitely woody. Maybe a little bit of cocoa. Not too spicy. The the retro hail. At least on that one wasn't on that draw wasn't too spicy. Very nice, very pleasant. I love the draw. So all right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into this. I'll probably check in with you about halfway, see what else comes of this. But uh, so far, on the first slide, I really like it. You know, really open draw. I wonder if that'll make it burn fast. I think I'll have to be careful not to overheat this. Uh, I'm glad I didn't cut any more off than I did. Generally, when I cut a torpedo, I I cut it so it would look pretty much like it would if it were uh, weren't even a torpedo, just a regular, just a regular cigar. So, all right, I'll leave you with that, and uh, I'll be back around halfway. Let's you know what I get. So uh, stick around. Be back in a minute. So I'm about a half hour in now. About halfway through, I took the first band off. There's two bands. Draw is still wide open. I love the draw. The burn has been pretty solid for a while. It was burning very cockeyed, but it fixed itself. I never corrected it. So that's good. Pumps out the smoke. Flavor-wise, I'm still just getting a, a lot of woody flavors. 
some toasted medium body tobacco. Strength wise, I don't really feel anything. But uh, it's so far, it's just a it's a nice, pleasant, fairly straightforward cigar. And you know, my my favorite aspects really are the the draw and the smoke. It just puts out a lot of smoke. It's got a great draw. Uh, the finish is just very clean, toasted woody. Uh, so I did go inside and grab a beer. I grabbed, this is an, an Avery IPA. I bought a growler of this yesterday. And that's pretty solid stuff. I think the nice hoppy citrus notes of that IPA pair pretty well with the, with the woody notes of the cigar. Generally, I don't pair an IPA with a cigar, but these are going together just fine. So, all right, I will uh, keep trucking on this and check it at the very end and let you know if anything else changes. But so far, straightforward, but very pleasant and enjoyable. So, I'm digging it. Stick around, I'll be back in a minute. So, about an hour in now. Uh, the burn has been great. The wrapper is starting to crack a little bit here at the end, but it's really not a big deal, and that that tends to happen in Arizona. You know, we have no humidity here, and it gets especially dry in the winter time. So, yeah, that happens. It hasn't been an issue. Flavor-wise, pretty consistent throughout. Wood, probably some dry cocoa here uh, towards the towards the last third, but the burn has been great in the last third. You know, I had told you before that it was pretty cockeyed at the beginning, but it fixed itself and it's been fantastic. Um, I went inside and probably set this down for a good three minutes or so and I grabbed a drink and came back out and it was smoking like I never set it down. So construction wise, this is perfect. Very nice looking cigar. I love the open draw. I think these retail they're about eight or nine bucks. If you can find them at your B&M. So, if you're into uh, boutique cigars, check out Esteban Carreras. You might have to ask uh, your B&M owner to consider carrying these if you like them. So, yeah, I think it's important to try to support those boutique companies because I think they're the ones that are really kind of pushing the boundaries right now in the cigar industry. You know, actually making some unique flavors. And I think in general they, they have better quality control. Than, than some of the larger brands and uh, I think have some consistency, a better consistency. Uh, that being said, a lot of your boutique uh, brands won't necessarily run the same lines year after year. I think they kind of take what's available and maybe get some tobacco and limited supply. And, and they can do that because your, your larger manufacturers, they have to be consistent. Uh, you know, if, if they're going to run, you know, if, if Fuente is, is going to make... Um, at 898 year after year after year for decades then they need to have a good consistent tobacco and it can't be anything too exotic or, or too unique and I think that's what's cool about boutique cigars is that they can grab that unique tobacco and they can make 20,000 boxes and then they'll just discontinue the line and see what comes along next year and that's pretty cool so yeah definitely support uh, the the boutique brands I, th I think uh, I think that's really where uh, where we're heading kind of like you know craft beer and things like that I think I think it's more of a an artisanal product and I think that's a good thing so anyway that's kind of my wrap-up of this Esteban Carreras Covenant I enjoyed it uh, I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed the DA Sanos but it was still a great cigar and I want to say thank you very much again to uh, Brandon and Randy at the Eclipso Cigar Podcast for sending this out to me. That was very generous, guys. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. And this was a, this was a great cigar, so definitely enjoyed it. And uh, if you get your chance to get your hands on one, don't pass it up. Give it a try. That'll do it for me today. So I'll leave you, as always, with my recommendation to keep your feet in the pool, a drink in your hand, and a cigar in your mouth. Have a great week, everybody.